Okay, we are back and we are awaiting our um, voiceover artist William H. Morrow III to contact us right now. So uh, right now Dr. Bill is uh, chowing down. Uh, well, there's um, there was um, an article where uh, a, uh, a California Monsanto office, I believe, was closed down due to yeah pro they protested due to protesters. I want to salute them for doing a great job. We just got to magnify this protest into uh, astronomical numbers all over the country and the world. Well, foreign countries are doing a great... Oh. Hello! Jimmy, hello, Dr. Bill. Yeah, yes, yes. I, uh, I, I, uh, William H. Morrow the third is on the air right now. Our our voiceover artist. How are you, sir? Get tired. Let's be honest with everyone. How are you guys doing? Uh, all right. We, we you know we were we were talking about that American custom. Uh, Cher, you know, a uh, Cher who looks great for her age was on David Letterman, and she 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 mentioned it's a very stupid custom to. to Ask people how, how they are because they they never tell you how they really are. You're right. You usually get a fake, a faux response. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, you, no, you're not fine. Uh, I heard some psychologists a couple years ago that we'll get back to your show, but uh, said you're in denial. Tell the truth. Right. You know when people say how are you, saying you like white. Yeah. I had do somebody tell me one number of people so they did. They said what I told them. They said, you know it felt good. I was honest. I told the truth that I'm fine. How are you? Blah, blah, blah. The same little platitudes and salutations. Tell the truth. Uh, it sucks. I, Don't I, feel good. I hate these people that say they're great. They're fantastic. I'm Could great. I've never been better. <laughs> I have your life then. Never no, been better. Good. Every time I ask them how they are, they've never been better. Wow. Never been better. I know they're well, that's, lying. That's a shame. If it's that bad, it never gets better. You've got a problem, Paul. <laughs> you know. So, uh, you know. So, so Cher, Cher told David Letterman, I, I appreciate when somebody tells me that they had a horrible day and they're not feeling well and and this yeah. sucks and that sucks. She says the honesty is hey, is much appreciated. Why can't you just be honest? It's always have to be a fake, positive answer. Yeah. You know people you know, put on facades. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, know you know people put on fronts and facades all the time, Billy. And why? Towards what end? What's the reason for it? They're afraid people are not gonna like them or approve of them, maybe? I think people might like well, we're doing great as a society now with the lies, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, real great. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it's better to go back to being honest. That's true. That's right. That's right. Being honest yeah. and upfront. I mean, yeah. uh, 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 you know, it's funny that um, people. Can you just do me a favor. Speak up a little bit, please. Our connection. Oh boy. Um, people tend tend to um, uh, they tend to uh, uh, not to get that upset over deceit in our society, but when you're one hundred percent honest. They get bent out of shape. I just, I just. Well, Jimmy, let's be fair. Here. Let's be honest too. Some people can't even say hello when you walk by. I had that happen to me this morning. I went for coffee. The lady walks by. I said, "Good morning." Not a word. Not a word. Yeah. Hey, I have people yeah. on my in my neighborhood. They they walk by, walk in their dog, and 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 they don't they don't give me um, a reply uh, if I say hello. How are you? You know. Uh, they they don't reply at all. They don't make right. eye con. They don't make eye contact. No, don't dare make eye contact. That means you're going to attack them. You want to rape them. I mean, everybody's lining up to get to their body. Right. Or 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 they give you a, they give you a real split second look and a high, like a nanosecond. Yeah. 
And uh, like like everybody wants, me. everybody wants to attack me. Yeah, yeah. They, everybody wants a. a, a they're they're uh, very paranoid. They're on the defensive. It's like say, it could be part of the New York City metropolitan area. Everyone's on the defensive in this part of the country. Being on the defensive, that's one thing. We have to be rooting each other. You know what's even scarier and more sad? This is what our soldiers, our people in the military, are giving up their lives and dying for our freedom to behave like this. Exactly. Each other this way. Is it really? Is it worth it? I mean, is their life or them losing their life worth what they're giving up to see people treat each other this way? Yeah, but if you're if you're poor. If you're poor or middle class, you only have the freedom to go out and shop. It really, the, the American dream was really meant for the rich. You don't have money, you don't have the American dream ever. Well, that was on NBC this morning on the news. They were talking to various people that no longer hear people talking about retirement at 65. In fact, you don't really hear people talking about retirement at all anymore. Mm -hmm. That's where we've come to, where you cannot afford retire anymore any longer. No. Hey, there are, there are people, in, uh, senior citizens in Florida that are supposed to be enjoying their retirement and they have to get part-time jobs. Yeah. yeah that's, they're the ones you see in the Walmarts or whatever, as greeters or what have you. The greeters, uh, right. You see a lot of people as baggers or whatever check out the, the grocery store. Do they love them because uh, they work cheap? <laughs> you don't hear any mention at all anymore of the gold in here. No, my, my my uncle Phil and Aunt Helen in Florida said the only thing golden about the golden years is the urine. Well, you beat me to it. I was just going to say that. Hmm. You're right. You're right. There are no golden years anymore. It's sad. Yeah. It's what you grow older to do. Yeah, unless you're unless you're a retired United States congressman or senator, then I bet your years will be golden. Yeah, probably. Or a C or a CEO, you know. Oh uh, my God, a CEO! You can be the worst CEO in the world. Your buyout package when they fire you was tremendous. <laughs> and we were just. I'll pay, 20, I'll pay twenty million dollars to get out. Yeah, we were just talking. We were just talking about the CEO who runs the Susan Coleman uh, Breast Cancer uh, Fundraising Organization, the charity for breast cancer. Uh, um, uh, her last name is Becker, I think. Ms. Becker. She gets six hundred and eighty-four thousand dollars a year to run a fundraiser. For God's sakes. To run a fundraiser. Yeah, it's just charity. They donate some of their time or take it a minimal wage. Yeah, it's a charity. For God's sakes. That's right. Why do charities give so little on the dollar to the actual charity itself? Yeah, what the five cents? Personally, I don't know of any charity that gives the majority of the dollar to the charity. I think you guys do, but I don't. It's always the majority goes to the people that work for the charity, but yes. not the charity itself. I agree. I'd like if you guys have heard of one, I'd love to hear of it. Oh, uh, no. If you hear 10, 15, 20 cents, if you're lucky, on the dollar goes to the actual charity yeah. itself, the research or whatever they're, they're no. being charitable <clears throat> about. That would, they uh, all... Uh, they all have this uh, these mysterious administrative fees. The yeah, administrative. It's almost like when you order something you've seen on TV. Uh, you get an extra unit free. Just pay extra shipping and handling. Yeah, what's handling? What do you mean handling? What do you mean handling? Put it in a box and tape it. <laughs> don't it drop it. Taping it up. I mean, come on. D don't you drop it. Yeah. Pay them not to drop it. <laughs> you have to pay them not to drop it and break it. <laughs> So Shipping and handling. Like that, people fight for yeah, like they, like an infomercial. They always say uh, it's four easy payments of twenty nine ninety five. What do you mean easy payments? Uh, wait, you order now, we'll knock one payment off for you. No. They, they yeah, well, they, well, four people don't payments. people don't realize they got the regular retail price jacked up higher, so that you're not really saving any money. No. No, it's a, it's fake. Anyway, Billy, you you had a special topic for this week. I don't want you to uh, to. Well, a lot of it was what you and I discussed over coffee earlier in the week, Jimmy, and we continued from last week's conversation about God and everything. It's uh, you know, who created you know? Did God remember we left off? Did yeah. God create man, or did man create 
Right. right. But, but will a doctor, uh, Reverend Dr. Bill, answered that uh, when you got off the show last week. He said that the Bible states that God and the Spirit that became Christ always existed, even before the universe was created. How that's, can that be? Uh, well, according to the Bible. Something, think about it. How can something be there forever with no beginning? Yeah, it's hard. It's so hard to no beginning understand. whatsoever. How did that happen? It was always there. Because we're thinking materially. Well, how so? Yeah, well, we're, how, yeah, how does that happen? How did that occur? Yeah. Well, because we're Think thinking, about. we're thinking materially. We're not thinking uh, in a spiritual sense. Even spiritually, how could it have been there forever? <laughs> no beginning. It just didn't begin. There was no beginning. How can that be? Well, do that's we what it is. Out of fear? Yeah. Well, speaking of the nobody has, nobody has really been able to answer. Did God create man? Or did man create God? Well, remember that article that we were talking about that 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 experiment where they took I think the Hubble telescope and they pointed it into blackness yeah, empty space empty space blackness and you know you know what they what they saw eventually billions they saw billions they saw galaxies. they saw billions was it billions they saw billions of galaxies that are so are. far so far away from us there are the bottom line we are in that's for sure. All the beaches combined in the world make up one grain of sand. That's Earth. Yes. And all the other grains are all the other billions upon trillions of what have right. planets and galaxies or whatever. And you take one bacteria and you take one bacteria on the grain of sand and that's 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 a that's a human being. We are basically insignificant if you think yeah. about the grain the grand you I know the routine. <laughs> yeah. We are one grain of sand. Absolutely. Well, so. back to Billy's question. But what? again, nobody wants yeah. to answer why. Did, did okay. Man, or did man All right, God? now, B nobody Billy. Can... Now, Reverend Bill is going to answer what you just said. Go ahead. All right. You may not hear me, but I'll say it anyway, and James can hear yeah, you. I can really hear you, Dr. Bill. Okay. If you're willing to search out and question the eternity thing for the spiritual world, what about the universe itself? You can ask the same question. How did it come right. to be? How is it in, in process right now, etc.? And those questions yeah, are applicable there too. You know, does it consist of wormholes? Other alien beings yeah. coming through time travel? Who created what? Well, without oh, materialism, there is no time. Through, uh, but something could not have just been there forever. Everything had yeah. to have a beginning. How can something, think yeah. about it, just how could something only the material world needs a beginning. Material world needs a beginning. I I'm fascinated with wormholes. That's my thing. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, only the material in, in in the material dimension that we live in, the material world. There's there are beginnings and endings. Well, even the spiritual world too. It's a spiritual world kind of material as far as just having a body that's material. And you know what goes wow. on and where and is this? Like they say. Uh, is it all just hope? Faith and hope is not, does not equal fact. Well, the bottom line, I think, is we just don't know. Well, that's your job well, to find out. I, I think you're right, Bill, uh, Bill Morrow. We just don't know, and it's our job to find out. But, yeah. but, no, this is why church and state should always be separated, and not one penny of tax money, of taxpayers' money, should go towards religion because no one has been able to prove that their God exists. No, no one's been able to prove that their God exists. No one's been able to disprove that either. No one really yes. knows the truth or not. Because in the weeks or maybe a month or so back, all I, all I had is I, I would just love to know the truth. I really would rather than have false yeah. hope or false Well, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you, I'd really like to know what is the actual I mean, you get a ho you get a right wing evangelical holy roller, and he ta he says to me, he says to me, well, look at a tiny acorn becomes a a, a gigantic oak tree, or or what? I says so. How no, that, that, a that, single sperm and an egg become a baby too? What's that, your point? That doesn't yeah. What's your point? That doesn't that doesn't prove. An acorn grows into a tree. That's how the things grow into flowers. A pollination, the whole bit. Yeah. Well, that, science, science. Is that because of God. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, don't say that's God's doing. We don't 
don't know that. Science is in itself is is miraculous and amazing. Well, science is the one that brings up all these questions. But questions you're only dealing with the material world. world. Correct. Oh, it's not science. You look at your television show and I think are wonderful like ancient aliens. Not getting it. They back up everything they say and discover. Yeah, I wish the Republicans would think that way. To back up everything they say in this. The things they saw, the sounds they heard, all the writings on the wall, the building of the pyramids on all the various countries, and the similarities. What if the pyramids were supposed to be rectangular? Yeah, like the commercial. The engineer made a mistake. You know, I can really like to know what's going on. You watch the same commercials I The bottom line is nothing wrong with inquiring and watching to know the Inquiring minds want to know. Yes. But then again, because of what we're saying, I'm sure people out there listening are saying, we're sacrilegious. No, we're not. We're just questioning. Is that wrong? In order for us to be sacrilegious, having a free, independent, thinking mind, a progressive mind, like we mentioned last week, are they, the people calling us sacrilegious, would have to prove that their God exists. Well, that... Plus, also, they're obviously afraid. Well, they're afraid, right? But they they, they have no right to speak for God. Only you, to them, you only speak positively about God. Anything negative, you're sacrilegious. Well, you know, so, flash, you some don't say things like that. Blah blah blah. Didn't, if there is a God, didn't He create us with the minds to have free will to think, to question, to want to learn? Nice. I mean, really. I mean uh, some Catholics would call us sacrilegious if we say, oh, God is not a, a, a man with a long white beard and a white robe. Well, you know? what is he? <laughs> what is he, then? What, is, what does he look like, then? Prove it, prove it, right. He looks like a human. He, and then you we, have other groups saying God is in black. his image. Yeah. So, so, so we know right. that much. What's the truth? Which is how we right. started. Well, for... If, conversation today. What's the truth? Right. If, questioning. If we're in his image, we're not saying facts any of us here because we don't know. We sure. like to know, okay. but we don't know. We're asking. If somebody has an answer and they could offer proof, call in people. I'd love to hear you and hear your, you know, what you've got to say. I'd yeah. just like to know. But you got to back, you got to back it up. It's like with uh, Dante's Inferno. Many Catholics oh. accept hell as being Dante's Inferno, but nobody can really prove that exists. You know? Well, then again, you get to the people say, God, he's always been there. As we started today's conversation, how can that be? That's impossible. Everything has a beginning. Think about oh, it. How could something always have been there with no beginning? Oh, we'll, 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 we'll mention that later. It can't yeah. happen. <laughs> well, it bit not happen. Billy, I, I, have a qu I have something to tell you. You know, a lot of people, when, when they talk about angels, they 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 describe them they are in 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 uh, images and paintings and drawings as being you know regular humans with large white wings or little chubby cheek little fat baby little, little fat yeah let me finish L little fat babies with curly hair like like cupid or putti and and carrying a little tiny bow but actually the bible's description of angels is more like gargoyles and maybe that's where the gargoyle statue came about in ancient times. Who knows? Yeah, it, it, it's the it truth. It was misinterpreted. Who knows? See how many angels have six wings. Yeah. What is the, the an animal are looking to? Truth? I would love to know. Well, nobody can give that answer. People, people, people like to create doctrine based on their imagination and wh what they perceive, you well, know. What, in essence, fed that imagination? Did they see things? And again, I revert back to the great television series, Ancient Aliens, and how so many of them are identical. The sounds, the drawings on the cave walls, other things, other, other drawings. Of, it looks There's like a big documentary about them. mermaids last The sounds they hear, the fire coming out. This could all lead to the legends. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the, and, and, and I, I hate this term used today that uh, uh, many people, uh, many people's reality is based on their perception, on what they perceive. Uh, whatever happened to proving something? Yeah, everything is speculation and vagueness. Perceive? Yeah. 
I don't I don't hold any validity to mm -hmm. someone's perception. I hold validity to proven facts. Oh, I know, and they know well, all politics. Maybe perception. they do. Maybe there there's multiple universes. Passes multiple is fact. That, that's the ideology. I mean, well, obviously there are multiple universes. I'm wrong for saying that. That was stupid. I meant multiple dimensions. Oh, there's that I believe. About yeah. that too. Well, the wormhole, the wor the wormhole is the only practical way for intergalactic travel. Uh, you, you, because uh, I think Freud uh, said that you can't survive uh, going at the speed of light. A human being cannot do it. It's odd, and you know, there, there's speculation now about that. So who yeah. knows? Who knows? Oh God, but then again, that's all material. Actually, know the actual factual yeah. truth. Jesus, came, people, Jesus went to heaven and came back to earth in one day. Yeah. So obviously they move a little differently than we do. Sadly, we don't. It's a totally different world. Totally different dimension. Yeah. So much more of our archaeological digs have proven that we're wrong about what we think and things like that. Uh, I mean, you go on forever. Uh, the coelacanth, an extinct fish for what I think six million years, maybe a little less, I don't know. They found an entire living school of them. In, in the ocean, in ocean, yeah. So, you know, what do we really know? And they're always yeah, finding... Scientists admit we only know for perhaps about 10% of all the species on this planet. They're always finding... That's 90% that we don't know about. You know? Turkey time's coming. No, no but they always, they're always finding new species, Bill. They found... They found four, I think three or four new uh, uh, legless lizard species in Southern California ah. that... They're, they're legless? All, yeah, it's a lake. It looks like a snake, but it's really a lizard. I'll oh. tell you later. But anyway, uh, they're always discovering new things. Like the bottom of the ocean is really uh, that's where they discover many new creatures because because it's pretty well, much also plant life. I mean, what could that plant life lead to as far as medicine so cures go to? Yeah, uh, 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 herbs and down there or just waiting for man to discover. They, 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 they make fun and ridicule the, uh, the shamans, they call them witch doctors, but in reality there are many plants with many cures in, in the rainforest. Like, uh, uterine yeah. cancer in women, I think the cure for that came from the, the yew tree. Well, the uh, graviola, which is a fruit called the soursop, is 10,000 times stronger than chemotherapy. Uh, Turmeric, too, aspirin, is very effective. I, I don't know a plant, but aspirin comes from some plant. That's true, that's true. Uh, 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 you know, much, much of what we depend upon, much of our drugs and everything comes little. From, it's from the plant world. Now, uh, now, I had a debate with somebody on the fact that he had an article and, and a video about carrot juice being a very effective, very effective for cancer patients. So I mentioned, well, Michael Landon juiced carrots and it didn't help Michael Landon. So he came back and gave me concrete evidence that Michael Landon quit the alternative natural holistic treatment, the protocol. He did, he quit. He quit it. And, and Patrick Swayze didn't even want to uh, 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 use the natural protocol. He never tried alternative. No, but, but Michael Landon started, but he quit. So, oh, so you can't blame, you know, you can't scoff at the natural way if you don't follow the protocol exactly. You're going to try every every method at your disposal. Mm. And don't expect that to happen overnight. Oh yeah, well your your life is ticking away. Of course you you should try every every option. And why did they, why, and why did they quit? You know? Because he why? he was fed a bunch of crap, a bunch of pharmaceutical industry lies by people he knew and trusted. And trusted. Where, and, and sadly, where did it get him? Or they Dead. He's taking the big you know, dirt sleep right now. You know, it's just, uh, I mean, it's just... The doit. It was, it, his decision, sadly, was based on ignorance. Exactly. You know, hey, my, uh, I, Mike, I, I admired very much, I had loved the world of Michael Landon. Why did yeah. he do that? I mean, Patrick Swayze was offered help by Dr. Gary No, and he and he blew him off. He blew off Gary Why? No. Why would you blow somebody off? Why would you say, I'll try anything? Ah, he's, Let's do it. he's, Let's get it done. he scoffed at it. Uh, Patrick Swayze scoffed at the holistic approach. And I would, I would like to wonder, I wonder, and I hope she's well, uh, Valerie Harper. Valerie Harper. Brain cancer. Yes. Three months to live. It's been a lot longer than three months since she's on Dancing with the Stars and she looks tremendous. Yeah, she, her, her yeah, brain cancer went in. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. 
I'm just guessing. Her, her brain can't. On alternative medicine, supposed to be dead by now. Drug therapies as well. She's probably trying everything. I don't know. Her brain cancer is going into remission, apparently. Good for her. Now, look at Suzanne Summers. Look at the success she had with her breast cancer. She went natural. She attributes everything to natural, not, not traditional uh, uh, drug yeah, they so gave. She's written so many books about what happened they, to her. They gave Suzanne Summers uh, extract of mistletoe, among other things, and she beat her breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. Now, I had a friend of, I had a friend of mine cure his mother of uh, pancreatic cancer. Huh? Pancreatic or, Ginger uh, extract you know destroys was. pancreatic uh, cancer cells. But she was anti alternative medicine. He finally talked her into it. He fed her, I believe, you've heard of IP6. Yes. Apple cider vinegar and real cranberry juice, not the kind you buy that's got sugar in it. All. No, no. Uh, they canceled her surgery. Wow. She was cancer free, <laughs> and now he says, I, "Now I can't get her off the stuff." Look, look, look at the cancer patients who were given intravenous mega vitamin C uh, drippings. Uh, you know, intravenously, yeah. they beat cancer. But the bottom line to remember is a lot of these other diseases, the disease cells, especially cancer cells are a very weak mutant cell. They are not that difficult to kill. They really are. No, especially nowadays. So you wonder who's behind all it's the pharmaceutical companies who is behind all of this to prolong. You know? So yeah, of course it's probably both. Alternatives have helped so so many people. People on so many I believe I told you the story of the lottery winner uh, a few months back. Uh, they were interviewing them, they had just won 30 some odd million dollars on some lottery, some state, I forget which it was. And for some reason she brought up alternative medicine. And, uh, she said, I did my own work. Uh, I did my own work on alternative medicine. My husband was given only three months to live. She looked at the camera 30 years ago. Wow. 30 years ago. She didn't buy what the doctor said. You've only got three months to live. There's nothing more we can do. She said, well, I've got nothing to lose. I might as well do my own research and give it to my husband and see what happens. 30 years ago, you're given three months to live. How about God that? Bless them, they win the lottery to boot, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, nice story. I think people are more educated, especially seniors, are more educated than ever before about the, 